Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic seats in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here yes peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and i'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals i suspect i've probably overstretched my my level of greed here That gets things running. Mane. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And it's Salah. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Bakayoko plays it forward. Brahim Diaz. Mane. Alexander Arnold looks to thread it through. Has a hit! Marvellous goal! What a start and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that. Absolutely brilliant, I wasn't expecting that. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. So, a breakthrough already. Calabria. Bakayoko. Brahim Diaz. Liverpool have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Chip through. He oh, that is asking for trouble. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Jordan Henderson, Robertson, and here's Roberto Firmino. Danger averted for now.
Out towards the flank. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Loose ball, who's going to get there? A real chance to break. And it's Giroud. Brahim Diaz. It's Giroud! He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Kia. Keeper sends it forward. Foot in. Bakayoko. Milan keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Hernandez. Half-time getting close now. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Samu Castillo! Samu Castillo really used his body to clever effect in dropping the shoulder to carry on. Thiago. He goes long. Jack with the clearance. And here's Mane. Oh, shooting chance! No mistake! A two goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, for me, you can't fault the keeper there. The effort went in at the widest possible point off the upright. Nothing he could do. <laughs> Liverpool... And it's the whistle for half-time. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did they from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Liverpool sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Tomori. Calabria. Milan to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. Thiago, and it's Firmino. Gets wrestled off the ball. Jordan Henderson, quick glance at goal. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. And it's played forward. Bakayoko. Tonelli. Samu Castillejo. He's through, now is he in? Thiago is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. Just brushed off the ball there. Ibrahimovic plays it out to the wing. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Mane, 
Mane takes control of it and he's on the move. Gets away from his opponent. Tomori with the slide tackle there. Alexander Arnold battles to win it back. Time to deliver. And it's Thiago. He's had a go! This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. It's a good foot in there. Milan can't seem to retain possession. Brahim Diaz. Hoists it forward. Jard does well there. Alert. Bakayoko. Tonelli. And it's Ibrahimovic. He'll hit it! And somehow he managed to miss it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by... Rebic! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Mane. Bakayoko gets it back. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. certainly wasn't one of his best. Dinks one in. Rebic absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. And it's Ibrahimovic. Henderson tries lifting it over. And that's that. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start.